My name is Anna Marie Cruz. You are here in our virtual room with entrepreneurship. And today we are celebrating Entrepreneur Day. The reason we celebrate this is this is the birthday of Gabriela Silang, one of our heroines in Philippine history. And we celebrate her birthday because we believe that her fortitude, her fighting spirit, is also one that we channel as leaders and entrepreneurs. And today we have uh, an excellent event planned for you. So I'm going to introduce our first speaker, our first uh, facilitator, I should say, Abigail Friedenberg, who is the founder of Mabuhay Living. Abigail is based in Virginia in the United States. And if, if you don't know the word Mabuhay, it is a word that we often say to each other. It's it's a nice way to greet one another and also to say goodbye and, and leave a message of a positive, um, really a positive affirmation for one another to thrive, to go on and to to um, uh, to live. So Mabuhay Living is such a, a, a beautiful aligned message for today. Um, Abigail is a Yoga Alliance certified 200 hour yoga teacher and is training to become a certified yoga therapist. She also holds a master's degree in health and digital communication from Johns Hopkins University. She graduated from George Mason University Magna Cum Laude with a bachelor's in health science. So I think Mabuhay Living is really in your, uh, in your blood. Um, and Fun fact, Abigail was born in Manila and immigrated to the U.S. with her family before she was only two years old. She is the Bunso, or the youngest member of, the, of her family, and the first to become an American citizen. She is grateful for her parents' and ancestors' dreams, determination, and sacrifices that contributed to her becoming the first a first-generation Filipina American. And without further delay, uh, welcome, Abigail, and thank you for facilitating this for us today on Entrepreneur Day. Thank you so much, Anne-Marie, and I'm so um, inspired to be here. I watched a little bit of um, these morning sessions, and I'm inspired to be here this afternoon and to guide you through a short movement and um, breathwork practice as we move into this next session to be inspired as entrepreneurs. So um, wherever you are coming, streaming in virtually, I am here right outside of the Washington DC area in Alexandria, Virginia, where um, I'm based and my business is based. Um, and so wherever you are, um, I'd like for you to either you can stay seated or you can stand up and um, just ground yourself into the four corners of your feet, whether you're sit sit seated or standing up. And I really want to draw the energy that we've been producing today throughout um, Entrepreneur Day and also um, just the energy that we produce as Filipina entrepreneurs. We're always on the go, we're always thinking of the next thing for our business and, and um, just really taking that and even just as Asian American women, Asian women in this world, um, you know, we have energy that's stored within us. And I just want to move that around for us as we prepare and we move into this next session. So just start to move any way you're comfortable. Uh, just shake all your energy out. Just move that energy, shake it any way you feel. I think as uh, Filipinas, you know, we love a good dance party. So if you want to, you know, shake it a little bit, or even if you want to relax and fold over for a forward fold, you can take that and just stay there static, or you can move around. Just whatever your body is calling you to do, just respond to it. Just do this for a couple more seconds. Just move the energy around. And then when you're ready, you can come to stillness again, whether you're in your seat or you're standing up. Just go ahead and take a big inhale to your nose. Sigh it out to your mouth. Take two more rounds of this cleansing breath. Inhale through your nose. Sigh it out audibly through your mouth. One more time, inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. 
next inhale we're going to draw our arms up in front of us and then open them up nice and wide to our sides maybe giving ourselves a little micro bend in our back just staying safe here opening up your heart filling yourself up exhale go ahead and take your right arm cross it over your left and then your arms come back and your hands come back towards your back give yourself a nice hug inhale go ahead and open up wide again filling your cup exhale your left arm now goes over your right giving yourself a nice hug here if you'd like you can take your chin down to your chest and round your back inhale open up filling yourself up with your purpose here shining your heart forward exhale this time your right arm goes over your left giving yourself that love that compassion go ahead and inhale here open up for the last time just filling yourself up with all your beauty exhale left left arm go over right giving yourself a great big hug here and then inhale arms come out wide exhale arms come to your side we're going to move into to the breath work piece of our time together and it involves some movement as well um, and it's one of my favorite breath work practices or pr pranayama practices um, as they call it in yoga and pranayama or prana in sanskrit is your breath as your life force um, with the understanding that you can take your breath to control your energy and so this breath work practice again which is one of my favorites is called the breath of joy um, and you can use it to inspire yourself bring energy to yourself and also bring focus to yourself so when you're getting up in the morning to start your day to get to work to get to your family whatever it is you can use this to really energize yourself um, if you're in a client meeting or maybe pitching someone um, you can also use it before those instances to really energize yourself as well so i'm going to demonstrate it for you first and then we'll practice a few rounds of it so you can take two variations depending on how you feel right now and then also if you have certain health conditions i'll encourage you to take um, a more modified version of it so it's a three part or a three count inhale so what we do first is in our inhale the first count will take our arms in front of us and then we'll inhale two our arms will come to the side and then inhale three our arms will come up overhead and then we'll exhale audibly and bend forward if you're doing a more modified version again if you have high blood pressure or you have glaucoma or you're prone to dizziness or headaches or migraine i definitely encourage you to take this modified version and then of course if you just feel like you want gentler movement then take it as well so it's the same movements just a little bit uh smaller so we'll inhale our arms come up in front of us inhale two our arms will come up to our sides inhale three our arms will come up toward the sky and then exhale you can bend forward and again it's inhales through your nose and then the exhale is through your mouth like we practiced earlier so go ahead and ground yourself here again in your seat or in your standing position and we'll take a big inhale start us off start us off exhale side out through your mouth inhale one arms up in front of us inhale two arms to the side inhale up arms to the sky exhale side out to your mouth inhale straight in your inhale arms in front inhale arms to the side inhale arms up exhale inhale one inhale to the side 
Inhale, arms up. Exhale. Go ahead at your own pace. Inhale. One. Inhale. Two. Inhale. Three. Sigh it out through your mouth. And if you'd like, as you're practicing, on your inhales, when you're counting your one, twos, and threes, you can say an I am mantra and adopt it. So here we're going through our next round. One, say I, two, M, three. Fill in the blank, whatever you need right now. I am supported. Exhale and embody it. I am strong. Whatever it is you need, exhale. I am successful. And whatever it is you need to say it to yourself, let's do this three more rounds. I am your mantra. I am exhale. One more round. I am. And yourself slowly back up to your neutral position. You can take your hands, put them together in prayer hands or what's called Anjali Mudra. Taking your thumbs, bringing them to your heart center. Or you can take your palm, your right palm to your heart and your left palm over it. Just connecting to your breath here. Inhaling and exhaling at your own pace. Feeling the energy that you've produced in your body. Sealing in the I am mantra that you committed to during your practice. Thanking yourself for taking your time this afternoon, during this day, to feed yourself, to feed your soul, to feed your mind, to be here in community with other Filipina entrepreneurs. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you through this movement and breathwork practice. May you be happy. May you be healthy and may you live great. Mabuhay. Thank you all so much. Thank you so much, Abigail. And for those of you who may have heard, that was Bandit, my dog, giving his sigh from that last movement. <laughs> And I just want to say that that breath is so important. And it's, it's, I, I like what you said about the mantras and also uh, different instances where we might find ourselves in stress, like pitching or having a, a really high mileage meeting and just taking that moment to breathe and to relax. Um, Abigail, I, I also want to um, acknowledge that in the word mabuhai, there's a reminder of that breath in the ha. Right. So as you say, Mabuhai, there's ah, that breath. Would love to hear uh, some of the upcoming things that you might have or anything that you'd like to share with the community. I know you're in Virginia, but you also have a lot of online programming. So would you like to share a little bit more about your, your business and anything that might um, be of interest to folks? Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Um, I am based in the Washington, D.C. area. Um, but I do offer one-on-one um, -on -one or small group sessions online. Um, and I practice with um, people all over the world, of course, in the Philippines and Europe um, and across Asia. So um, if it is, if you are looking to um, start your yoga practice or continue your yoga, yoga practice, I would love to be able to, to practice with you. I do really draw from my background in healthcare. Um, and that's one reason why I'm pursuing my certification in yoga therapy. Um, for the most part, I partner with healthcare providers um, and 
uh, so that we can bring an integrative approach to their patients' care plans. Um, I myself have benefited from yoga. Um, you know, I came to yoga at a very stressful point in my life. Um, and I was suffering physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. And yoga was uh, recommended to me by my um, amazing team of healthcare professionals who take a very holistic point of view and a very coordinated point of view to their care. And that's what brought me to the practice. And as immediately um, as I started the practice on my own, I wanted to give this gift of the practice to um, anyone that, um, you know, is willing to receive it. So um, if that sounds like something, you know, that you're interested in, I would love to practice with you. Um, again, I work with uh, folks to really understand um, what they're working through, whether it is pain or it's stress or anxiety um, and ca catering a program specifically for you. Thank you so much. And we hope that one day we can practice with you in person when we uh, go back out into the world, <laughs> into the real world, and uh, have more uh, city visits. So thank you so much, Abigail. Maraming salamat and mabuhay to you. May you continue to thrive. And um, we look forward to staying in community with you and to hopefully having more events like this. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. Salamat.